Hello everyone. Uh, now we are uh, going uh, to talk about the last part of uh, sound waves and hearing uh, lesson. Uh, this part is talking about the Doppler, uh, Doppler uh, effect. Uh, in this lesson, we're going to describe how the Doppler effect change the sound uh, heard. Uh, first, uh, we have to define what does uh, Doppler mean. A uh, Doppler effect is a change in the observed uh, frequency of a wave when the sound source, uh, the observer, or both are uh, moving. Uh, to understand uh, this, uh, look at, uh, uh, listen carefully to this uh, part or uh, th these uh, points in this uh, video. Uh, each one of them uh, help you to know how the uh, Doppler uh, effect how, and how the sound it will uh, change. Uh, listen carefully and try to write uh, notes. Have you ever noticed a sudden change in the sound of a train's horn when a train passes you? As the train approaches you, it seems to have a higher pitch. As the vehicle moves away from you, the pitch sounds lower. This change is called the Doppler effect. Click the dots on the line to find out more. This train is blowing its horn as it approaches the observer. What does the observer hear? The observer hears a high-pitched sound. The pitch is higher than the actual pitch of the horn because the sound waves arriving at the observer from the moving train are closer together than they would be if the train were standing still. At the moment when the train passes the observer, the observer hears the true pitch of the train's horn. As the train moves away from the observer, the pitch sounds lower. The pitch sounds lower because the sound waves arriving at the observer are spread farther apart from each other. Now the observer is sitting inside the train. The observer hears the sound of the horn at the same frequency as the horn emits it. The sound produced by the train horn doesn't change. The Doppler effect is only experienced as the source of a sound travels toward or away from an observer. So from uh, this video, you can conclude when you and the source of the sound are moving closer together, the sound waves are closer together. The sound has higher frequency and higher pitch. When you and the source are moving away from uh, each other, the waves uh, are uh, farther apart, the sound has a lower frequency and a lower uh, pitch. Uh, thank you for uh, listening. Uh, I, uh, you have to uh, go to page uh, 47. Uh, and if you have any question, you can uh, send me your questions uh, and try to solve and you actually uh, uh, solve questions on page uh, 47 uh, to check your information, to check where are the weakness points and uh, in uh, this lesson. Uh, if you have any question, uh, please send me your question. Thank you for uh, listening.